Now today is World Teen Mental Health Awareness Day and to celebrate we want to talk to you about what does good mental health look like, what are some skills we can use to achieve it, and who can we talk to when we need help. What is mental health? Well, mental health is how we think, how we act, and how we feel. Like with physical health, most people get down or they may get upset just as occasionally as people come out with colds. Um, and just like with viruses and colds, you can't always do things to avoid it, but you can take precautions to make it least likely or to manage it. When we learn about good mental health, we can set goals to achieve it. We can adjust our schedules, we can form different habits, different skills in order to better ourselves and to overall function uh, to the best of our ability. People with good mental health generally are able to establish relationships, healthy functioning relationships. They are actively able to go about and doing their daily responsibilities such as schoolwork. We should be able to take the time to feel good about ourselves and act responsibly. So what should we do to obtain good mental health? Well, there are a variety of things that we can do. Things that are stress relieving when it comes to exercising and eating well, um, staying away from unhealthy, unhealthy hobbies such as drug or alcohol use. Our physical health and our mental health work together as a team. So try to develop healthy relaxation tools when it comes to perhaps meditation or engaging in different activities with friends that bring you joy. How we see ourselves affects the way we think, act, and how we feel about different things. Having a high self-esteem is very important for good mental health. It acknowledges your growth, it acknowledges your worth, and it helps encourage that interaction with other individuals, that confidence. It's important to remember we should always strive to do things to the best of our ability set your own standards and to try not to compare yourself to other people. What is important is that you are honest with yourself. We all have our emotional moments where perhaps we are sad, perhaps we are grieving. When we should be concerned about um, these negative emotions is when they tend to be long lasting and they really affect the way that we are able to complete different tasks. So who can we ask for help? There is a world of professionals out there who want to help you. You can always talk to your school counselor. Another option is you can always talk to your primary care physician. They can screen you for a mental health challenge and refer you out to a local counselor, or perhaps they may refer you out to Coastal Plains Community Center. I hope that this was able to give you an idea of what good mental health looks like and who you can reach out to for help. Times can be stressful, especially now, but if you feel like it is overwhelming you, talk to somebody. We are here to help.